guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from Switzerland, German language English subs, released in the year 2010, directed by Michael Steiner, and this film is called Senentucci. So Senentucci is about a folklore within Austrian and Switzerland mythology. You've got this woman who is known as the Senentucci. Now Senentucci is primarily made in order to keep lonely mountain men company. So she, uh, this is a woman that is constructed from a broom, some hay and some rags. So it's a very, uh, it's, it's a very simple sort of idea, but when she's created, she gives every lonely man what they want, but it also has a lot of repercussions as well. So the movie does depict this in a way where you've got three lonely mountain men who actually make this because they are longing for female companionship, but then it also has a devastating effect. So you've got the present day and the flashbacks. The flashbacks are the mountain Men. Then you've got the present day, which is in this secluded community that have been rocked by the suicide of a priest. Now, the policeman in charge of the investigation notices that there is a woman on the outer of this town that is covered in dirt and she appears to be shaken. So this policeman takes her in. He wants to know what, what she's uh, all about, but she's mute. She won't talk. And so this is where bad things start to happen and the townspeople start to suspect that she is the reason why this is happening. And so the policeman is getting more and more concerned for this woman's life and he he basically takes it upon himself to find out who she is and at the same time protect her from the townspeople. So all of this has something, uh, some connection to the mythology of the Senenduchi and what that is is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on San and Tucci. This is definitely an unknown horror film from Switzerland. It came out in 2010 and I didn't even realise it existed until it came out here on Netflix Argentina. So after I watched the film, I will say that it definitely deserves a lot more attention. But if you go in there expecting a straight out horror film, you might be a little bit short changed. It actually feels more of a mystery film. And I think the mystery element really helps it is because it's got such a fascinating folklore behind it. This is about a woman who is there to to feed the needs of lonely people and so because it's so interesting I, I really like the way that the mystery unfolds is because it really does keep your attention it doesn't feel like it's a horror film that it's exploiting its subject to the point of just making an entertaining movie this is a movie that does have a horror element but it does have a lot of intrigue and the intrigue keeps you glued to the screen from the first minute to the last minute it goes for an hour and 50 minutes which is a very long film but it never feels like it outstays its welcomes because it has enough material to really keep you going you don't really notice that it goes for two hours and in the end I kind of wanted it to keep going so it definitely had the material and I think that it, it really nailed the way it told its story there are some flashbacks and there is present day and if you're not paying close attention you might miss the fact that it is in flashback so the flashback is at an earlier time in history so you can notice the subtle differences in the atmosphere but it's letting you actually notice that for yourself it's not telling you in letters that you know this is in the past so it's very European it's very it's a film that you actually have to use your brain you can't actually just have 50% of your attention onto this film because you won't really understand what's going on. So the flashbacks really do feed the present day. When the, the present day is happening you get a lot of intrigue, you get a lot of mystery but the flashbacks work very well with the present day. It actually gives you a lot of information so therefore when it goes back to the present day it's a lot more in depth and you know a lot more and these characters are fleshed out very very well. Each and every character feels like they have a strong purpose. They play very well. Roxy Mosquito who is a fantastic French actress, she plays the mysterious woman who doesn't talk at all so all of her communication is through primal instincts it's basically body language and I thought that gave her an otherworldly sort of presence it actually felt like this is a woman that is dipped in mythology it actually feels like a woman who is almost supernatural and so it does have that fantasy feel to it although at the same time it actually feels like it's taking place in today's world so you've got the cinematography that it uh, captures the Swiss Alps in an absolutely beautiful fashion but it also has that fantasy sort of dark fantasy vibe to it where you feel very uncomfortable in the process of actually watching things pan out so it is a fairly violent film in some areas it's not overdone it is the script is very good as I said the characters are fleshed out in a way where you actually you are very interested and it all contributes into something that is a folklore story that is very well told. So the acting from everyone else was fantastic. It's a very dirty film in some areas. There are some pretty explicit sex scenes here and there, so be careful of that. And at the end, there are some pretty shocking moments. So there is definitely a horror element in there, but it's much more of a mystery, and it's got the story there to actually make you want to know what's going on. And when it unravels, you get more and more depth, and you feel like you're getting more and more uh, into the dark world that these characters are facing. So, uh, yeah, definitely go out there and check it out 
fan, if you are a fan of this sort of thing. The only problems I have with the movie is, as I said, you do have to pay a lot of attention to the flashbacks. They are very subtle, and so it could easily get you off track, so be very careful of that. And also, it is a very slow burn film. And so for me, it wasn't a problem because of how good the story was, but a lot of people out there who actually see the synopsis of the movie might go into it initially thinking that this is going to be a straight-out horror film, but you're really going to have to use your patience, you're really going to have to apply all your concentration to it in order to really enjoy it. So it's not an easy film to watch, you do have to be in the right mood, and so therefore it, uh, yeah, it definitely comes as a very highly recommended European horror film. So if it sounds like this is for you, I would definitely recommend it. So overall, for San Antucci, going to give it four stars, go out there and see it. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.